Welcome back, third grade scientists. Today we will review some vocabulary words that you will encounter in this week's lessons on unit five, human senses and movement. We will review together the academic and content vocabulary for this unit of study. We will study the word meanings, look at some examples to help you understand the work you will be doing during your science lessons this week. Let's get going. We will review both academic and content vocabulary. Remember, the academic words you will find in the questions and lesson focuses for the week. They can also be found in other subject areas in school as well. Your content words will be specific to human senses and movement and the lessons that you're working on this week. Let's take a look first at the academic vocabulary. These are some lesson focuses for the week. Describe adaptive technologies that support mobility function. Review and summarize the unit by checking for understanding. You'll notice that the words function, review, and summarize are highlighted in red. Take a moment before we move on and think about whether or not you have heard these words before and what do you think they mean. Okay, our first word is function and function is a noun. Function is the purpose or role that an object or person fulfills or is suited for. In other words, it's why you use that thing or why that person does that job. For example, what is the function of this object? If you said, oh, that's a pen and its function is to write on paper, then you would be correct. And you would be correctly using the meaning of the word function. Summarize is a verb or an action word. When you summarize, you restate in a short or concise form. I think we've reviewed this word before. Think about when you're asked in school to summarize a story you just read. You might use this strategy. The somebody wanted but so then strategy. In other words, you're retelling the basic story elements in your own words and you don't have to include every event in the story, just the important events to get the gist. Naming the characters, what the character wanted, what problem they encountered, how did they solve it, and what was the resolution. When you're able to identify these parts of a story, you are summarizing. Review. Review is a verb or an action word. When you review, it means to examine or look over it again. In other words, you've seen it before and studied it before, and now you're looking at it again. When is a time that you may need to review information that you've learned? You may see your teachers tell you, oh, it's time for review. Maybe because a test or an assessment is coming up to test your knowledge on what you've learned. You may take some time to review your notes, read over materials, have a discussion with somebody to check your understanding. This is reviewing. Content vocabulary. Let's take a look at some of the important content words for this week's lessons. These are some words you will learn during your lessons this week. You will come across the word caption, artificial, mobility, and prosthetic. Before we move on to explore these words, stop and take a moment and think about whether you have or have not read or heard these words somewhere before. If you have heard them before, can you think of an example? And if you haven't heard them before, in relation to what we're learning about the human senses and movement, can you make a prediction or take a guess as to what you think the word might mean? First, we'll take a look at the word caption. A caption is a noun. It's, you may have learned it when reading nonfiction in your ELA lessons because it's a text feature of nonfiction. A caption are words that describe a picture or a graph in a magazine, book, or newspaper. 
Captions can also be used in movies and TV shows and videos as a closed caption. In other words, you can read on the screen what the characters are saying or what sounds are happening. And the, this closed captioning can be used for people who have a hearing impairment. It may look something like this. The characters are on the screen and these little boxes of words come up to let you know what the character is saying or what sounds are happening and how they're saying it. For instance, you can see this character was saying it in a screaming voice, maybe because this person was in some kind of danger. Let me help you. And the person responds, thank you. This is an example of a closed captioning for a hearing impaired individual. Artificial. Artificial is an adjective. Artificial describes anything that's made by humans and not occurring naturally in nature. For example, you can see here an example of an artificial limb being used by this swimmer to help him to move and walk. Mobility. Mobility is a noun. It is the quality of moving or being moved easily from place to place or of having ease and flexibility of motion. For example, someone who has injured his or her leg may need these to help with mobility or being able to move around as they're healing. And these are crutches. They can be used while the person is healing from a broken, a broken foot, a broken leg, or maybe some type of surgery to help them to get around on their own and improve their mobility. Prosthetic. This is directly connected to the word artificial. Prosthetic is a noun. A prosthetic is the replacement of its effective or missing bodily limb <clears throat> or other part with an artificial substitute. This is an example of a prosthetic arm. These have been some awesome words in relation to the human senses and movement. And now that you're familiar with these words, you, they will make more sense to you during your lessons and will help you, under, you, help you to use them during your learning. Keep up the great work, third grade scientists.